Well, actually, I'm down at my favourite beach. Uh, it's about 6 a.m. and I feel like I've got the world to myself. You know, this is about mini adventures where we live, and it's just stunning. No other people, and this is my beach at the moment. Uh, last night I fitted the AXP bash plate on my 890 Adventure R and I was slightly concerned about fitting it because it's one that goes on the 790 and there are comments online about sometimes it does fit, sometimes it doesn't and do we need to modify it? The only modification I needed to do was just adjusting the fuel pump guard so it sits pretty proud and when you put the bash plate on it just rests up against that fuel pump guard. So I got an angle grinder and I drew a line and I cut back that fuel pump guard a little bit and just reshaped it. Now by doing that I didn't really take away any strength, I just took off one of the corners so I'm pretty happy that it will still do its job. And then once I did that the AXP bash plate went on really pretty smoothly. Took a little bit of lining up on the bolts, a little bit of swearing at times, uh, but in the end it went on really nicely. So here are a few comments on it, how it fitted, what's in the box, what all the pieces are that come with it and uh, I'll come back to you at the end. So I've got the AXP bash plate here. It's uh, in black and let's take it out of the bag and see what's going on. Right, so here it is. We've got the big bag of bolts. So not differentiated, but yeah, big bag of bolts, not closed. Got the AXP decals. Got the upper extension part of the bash plate, which goes up here on there. And then we've got three brackets. One goes in the front here. And then we've got two side brackets here. I've come inside to do this bit because it's actually very noisy with traffic outside. So I've sorted out all the bolts and all the bits that come in the pack. Let's have a look at these. And what we have here is eight equal length hex headed bolts with their washers and there are nylock nuts to go on those as well. Strangely, there was one black nylock and the rest are uh, sort of clear, but I can't work out why that is. I think it might just be a bit of an error, but it's the right size. Here we've got three bolts to put in the bracket. So this bracket, which goes on here, that goes in there like that. So those are the three bolts for that bracket. We've got the main bolts that will hold the front of the bash plate on. And they're just 10 millimeter hex. And we've got two of the sort of bash bungs which go in some screw holes, uh, threaded screw holes at the front of the engine. These are the spacers which go between the bolt at the bottom of the foot brake and gear lever hangers. And then these are the bolts and washers that will hold on these spacers. And these spacers um, go up here, let's get the right side. So these spacers go in here like that. And they bolt in here and then the bolt that holds it to the frame comes through that hole there. And then we've got two quite nicely machined aluminium hangers with plastic protection on them. I need to tear that off. They're quite sharp edged actually, quite surprisingly. Uh, so these will sort of correspond to these places here. And those bolt on. So that's a job to do inside along with that one there. And these spaces which go up here. So I've put all the metal work on, so we've got the brackets here. These are the holes in the brackets that use the bolt on the bike, and I'll show that in a bit. So we've got the two brackets on, got the strengthening plates here. Now a trick with these strengthening plates, and I saw this on Rottweiler Performance, uh, you take one of the screws that goes into the frame and you actually put it through, through the hole here. As you can see that it's actually got a bit of a shoulder on it like that so you fit it into there like that and then you keep it in that side when you're doing these bolts up and it acts like a template to make sure that this brace is in the correct place 
So I think it's well worth doing, making sure that's in place before tightening these. So keep these really loose, pop in one of those, and then tighten these. Just keep an eye on that. You have to tighten these quite gradually. Do them sort of a little bit at a time to each one and make sure that stays central and loose all the time. You have to excuse any sound quality out here. It's um, slightly noisy with traffic, but I'm gonna take the existing bash plate off. It's a T30 torque wrench for these bolts. to loosen them all first. So we've got four on the front here. These bolts here um, on the fuel tank cover are really just holding fuel tank cover onto the bash plate. So we can take the whole thing off in one big piece by not undoing these ones here. There are two hex bolts under here for the fuel tank protectors which go onto the bushes that link onto the fuel tank. So once you've undone all the bolts, the whole bash plate and fuel tank protector should come off as one piece like that. I've taken the guard off and the main issue was that apparently the fuel pump guard touches the bash plate on the inside and it really is only just this corner here that touches the rest of this it, the bash plate all slopes away so I've drawn a line on here which I think if I take that much off it's not going to touch the bash plate so let's see how that goes the other thing on the AXP site they can do modifications on the bash plate itself by cutting the plastic but I think this isn't going to harm anything by taking a bit of this off okay so if you look here I've just reshaped this a little bit uh, I've not taken anything off this bit here, so the strength around here stays the same, but I've taken off quite a big corner here, which I don't think will impact the strength of that protector. And the plate now sits underneath it, and there's no touching. There's probably about three millimeter gap between them. Right, the next step is to go underneath the engine. Got my bike up on the stand, and I've just put some blue thread lock on this buff and that just screws in there. It's just hand tight, there's no other way of screwing it, but the bash plate will hold it in place. So that's just a sort of rubber bung. It um, impacts some energy. Just do the other side as well. So just make sure you put them in the forward ones and not these ones here. So in terms of the bolts that go onto the frame, we need to loosen this one here, which is a T45 Torx, and then take that one out and we take out this spacer as well. Not quite as clean as the bikes on the reviews I've seen. And then we need to loosen this one as well up here just to make it easier to get that spacer back in and this is on the gear change side so this bolt comes out now let's take the whole thing out and hopefully the space might come up and i'm going to loosen the other bolt first so that's the spacer that's come out there that was in there and that's where the new spacer goes a slightly better view of that yeah so it's up there then on the foot brake side we've just got these two which are much easier to get to That one just comes out. And, so that, and that spacer actually fell out. I've loosened this one as well, so the spacer fell out on that one, which is good. So I think the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to attach these two first, and that way it'll hang the bash plate under here, so I can get the supports in better. Right, so it's probably a good job the camera wasn't on then. There's a fair bit of swearing. Just trying to line these up was quite challenging, 
but I've put the extra bash plate here. I've put it on the outside. Um, on the XP video, it shows you go on the inside, but I think there's not enough tolerance in there, there's not enough room, so it seems to fit very well on the outside, and it just takes a little bit of lining up of these screws, uh, but they're all seating really nicely now, so. But yeah, it just needed a little bit of fiddling around and a little bit of tweaking to get it all lined up. Get your legs under the bike, you know, get your knee up, push up to get the holes lined up. Just use your knee to push up and it all starts working a bit better. So it's all done, all complete, and I think it looks really good. So you got it there, you've got the decals on as well. It's all lined up nicely, looks really well protected. Really happy with that, looks good. Once again, thanks for watching, really appreciate your time. I hope you found that video uh, useful. Uh, I've had a lot of great comments uh, from previous films about the AXP bash plate, so I really appreciate the feedback on that, because that sort of helped me decide what I was gonna go for in the end. So thanks to all those viewers who've commented on that. And I'll come back to you later in the year with a review on how well it's lasting and how well it's standing up to all the rocks and stones around here. Once again, thanks for watching. I always appreciate your time. I realise there are millions of people on YouTube, so thank you for watching my film. Um, you're great if you subscribe. Really appreciate that. And see you on the next film. Cheers, guys. Bye.